What's up y'all, Liv Moods here, and I'm gonna take you back in time to a football game that was not only historic, but left jaws on the floor. Let me take you back. It's week 15 in the 2022 season. The Indianapolis Colts at this time are four, eight and one, and they are taking on the NFC leading Minnesota Vikings. The Colts were actually the underdog in this one, plus 162, which basically means Vegas predicted that the Vikings would win this game. But Vegas could never predict just how how they would win this game. So to many people's surprise, like I said, the Colts were the underdog, but they dominated in the first half of this game. So much so that they were leading by 33 points at halftime. Not only were the Colts dominating offensively, but this Vikings team couldn't do a single thing offensively, 33 to zero. At halftime, you could bet the original favorite in the Vikings at plus 3,000. That is $10 to win 300 if your bet cashes. And at one point, Vikings money line got as high as plus 8,000, which is $10 to win $800. If you were to bet on something that is plus 8,000 right now, it would look a little something like the Arizona Cardinals to win this year's Super Bowl basically not happening. The statement it's not over till it's over is a statement sports bettors know all too well. And in this game in particular, it must have been Kirk Cousins halftime speech. Cousins basically turned into Tom Brady reincarnated and threw for 460 yards and four touchdowns in the second half, okay? Basically, the game plan here was Kirk throws, we score. That's the only way that this Vikings team was getting back in this game. Minnesota scored five total touchdowns in a span of seven possessions. It all came down to a 40-yard field goal by Greg Joseph to complete this comeback and win in overtime 39 to 36. Yes, they scored 39 points in the second half and in overtime to win this game. This was Kirk Cousins' seventh comeback this season to secure an NFC North title and also secure the title of Comeback King, okay? Iconic. Kirk Cousins season. This was an upset in almost any way you looked at it from a betting perspective. If you bet on the Vikings to cover that four point spread because they were the favorites before the game started, you were disappointed. They only won by three. Even though they won in a very impressive way, they didn't cover the spread. And if you bet on the Colts as the underdog at plus 162 when the game first started, I'm sure by halftime, you may have turned the game off. You may have kicked your feet up on the couch, feeling good. You may have already hit the group chats talking with all of your friends, <laughs> bragging about your bet that cashed. And then you were disappointed because it was maybe the biggest collapse we've ever seen. While this may have been disappointing to betters everywhere, this game will absolutely go down in history. Since 1930, the Vikings became only the second team in 1,551 regular season or playoff games to trail by 30 or more points and still win. But I have to ask you this, who do you think of when you think of this game? Is it the hero in Kirk Cousins or is it the second brutal collapse of Matt Ryan? We'll all never forget this one, especially Matt Ryan, but drop those bet slips. I wanna see which side of this game you were on.